good day everyone in this video we are diving into an exciting new feature copilot in sql server management studio and how it is going to uh, help database developer we will walk through step by step how to use copilot inside sql server management studio to ask intelligent questions about your database get instant help with tsql queries understand how copilot responds and how to analyze those responses effectively whether you are writing your first query or fine tuning stored procedures copilot can save time reduce errors and improve productivity so stick around till the end if you find this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming tips let's jump in and start using copilot in ssms as a developer i'm uh, going to uh, design a database for a fictional company called uh, jb supermarket yeah uh, they are similar to existing supermarkets uh, in the sense that uh, they will sell all the normal items a supermarket will do. And I'm basically asking uh, Copilot to suggest some uh, tables. And uh, I will also request um, help from um, um, uh, Copilot to provide scripts to create all the tables and then uh, uh, see uh, how the response would be. And I'll be take it from there. So it has um, recommended me like um, uh, seven tables here, yeah? customers, products, categories, orders, order details, payments, and uh, customer activity. Yeah. So these are the uh, scripts to create the tables here. Yeah. So now what I'm going to uh, do is like I'm going to um, uh, ask Copilot to execute this query. Yeah. And... Uh, and what I'll do is like I will create a new database for this uh, work and what I'll do is like I will create a database called create database JB supermarket I can ask um, uh, copilot uh, for me to create the database as well but I thought like I will uh, do it uh, uh, myself uh, like while you are asking for the database scripts you can ask copilot to um, follow the best practices and you can tell like what would be the location that uh, you want um, uh, uh, the database to be created and also like um, you can um, uh, provide uh, the initial size and everything like you can basically request uh, copilot to offer you the scripts as per the best practice and then you can analyze it and then you can um, um, uh, check that and then you can create it so these are the tables that uh, uh, will be created so let me ask copilot to create it for me yeah and then let's see what happens so it basically tells that um, i'm currently in uh, read only mode so now what i'll do is like if you can see here it is in read only mode so what i'll do is like i will uh, um, uh, change it to read write and then request uh, that the query be executed yeah so let me copy this first yep and then what i'll do is like i will change it to uh, read write and then try it one more time so i'm um, uh, changing it to uh, read write i'm not going to use read write with approval if you, you can do that if you want but right now I will use um, just the read write, yeah. And then now I'm going to uh, ask um, Copilot to uh, uh, execute this query. Let's see uh, what happens. If you see here, it basically tells that uh, the query has been successfully executed. So now let's um, request Copilot to list uh, all user tables on this database. Let's check that. so it is uh, listing that so i'm going to ask like can you give me the tsql for this and then let's see if it is going to give the tsql for this particular query yeah for this particular output sorry let's copy it and then let's try executing it and if you see here we are able to uh, get that info okay so now what i'm going to ask is like i'm going to ask it to recommend some indexes for the newly created uh, indexes the newly created tables and then let's see what uh, 
information that we are going to get. So now if you look at it, it is basically telling like based on the analysis of the current database, there are no missing index recommendations. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is like now I'm going to uh, generate um, uh, scripts uh, or to uh, insert some data uh, within um, uh, the tables that we have just created. Yeah. So uh, I've uh, requested it like um, each table should have 100 to 1000 rows and then I'm um, basically telling like the data needs to be realistic and I've given the required instruction. The most important thing to note here is like uh, the response from Copilot uh, will be um, great provided you provide uh, proper questions to Copilot. Yeah, if you just give some simple um, information without explaining the actual requirement then the response would not be that great so it is uh, required that you need to uh, provide appropriate requests to copilot to get better answers yeah so this is the script uh, that it has provided me so now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to uh, uh, request um, copilot to execute it can you execute this query yep and let's see what happens so we know like um, uh, uh, we are in uh, read write mode already if you see here it is read write so let's uh, wait for uh, the response from copilot and then we will take it from there okay so if you see here uh, it is telling the query has been successfully executed thousand rows of realistic data have been generated and inserted into customers table okay so now what i'll do is like i will check what data I'm seeing inside this particular table. Yep, if you see here, uh, you can see that uh, we have um, realistic data, the first name and last name. And also if you look at the email, uh, the email is like matching the first name and last name. And uh, according to me, this looks somewhat realistic. Yeah. And also like you see this, uh, you have the phone number, address and then you have the city if you specifically require uh, the city names of any particular country then you need to uh, specify that so right now i'm seeing like all the cities are uh, based out of uh, us yeah and then you have the zip code and then uh, all other data so i think like the data that uh, we are seeing inside the customers table uh, seems to be like uh, realistic yeah if you want to um, um, uh, insert data to other tables you can uh, request copilot to do that and that way I think like uh, uh, we will be able to uh, populate uh, tables uh, as per our requirement so the place where um, this particular thing is going to help is like on a test bed if you want to uh, create some data for testing purpose then I think uh, this would be a great place to start with and also if you are starting with any application i think like uh, you can provide the actual requirements to copilot and then get the required queries uh, based out of your uh, business logic uh, without much trouble to be frank yeah so you just need to look at each and every uh, generated response and make sure like uh, the response is like um, as per your requirement and then you can test it out and then move it to production that's it for this video Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.